Hey, it's FCB here doing a Man's Destiny vs. Persian Special Clan War Recap. As you can see, we fell short on this one. Uh, not only in the star area, but in the destruction percentage area. Uh, top end left a lot of stars on the board. As you can see, two, three, four, five, six, right there. A little bit. Uh, but we had some good attacks. Let's go over some of them. I'm going to show you the attack I did. It was a Go Ho We against their number two. Decent level Town Hall 9. As you can see, they're pretty much maxed for Town Hall 9 besides their walls. I'm going to drop my Golems to tank and then I'm going to drop the Wizards behind them to eat. Uh, I'm going to use Earthquake Spell to get into the middle and then I'm going to use the Jump Spell so they could get out of the middle into the other areas. And then I'm going to drop Hogs also in there to take out some of the defenses. The Hogs aren't going to really play a huge part in this so basically it's just a go we attack. Let's check it out. So they are opened up a path all the way to the Town Hall. I'm going to drop one golem, make sure the defenses uh, hone in on him. I'm going to drop a couple more wizards here. I dropped wall breakers because I wasn't sure if that wall got taken out. That's why they went to the right and just got killed. I dropped the poison here to slow down. And then the wizards, once they take out these buildings, will go in there and take the clan castle troops out. I'm going to drop the heal and rage as well to protect the golems because you know they're, they're the tanks the whole meat and potatoes of this attack taking all the hits and there you can see he got hit by that one bomb survived and then there was another bomb so that was unfortunate but what's nice is my plan with the jump spell worked out so none of these wizards are being attacked right now so that's nice they're just free flowing through the base unobserved Going from defense to fence. Uh, what sucks is that they're stuck behind this wall right here, the Barb King and the Golem. So these wizards to the northeast are going to get taken out. I have my Archer Queen's there to, to take these defenses out. And once I use her ability, she's going to cloak, and then the defenses will still be honed in on these Golems. As you can see, there's not too many buildings left. I used the King's ability to speed things up a bit. There's two defenses left. Golems are down to Golemites. But there's one defense left. And right here, I'm going to use the Queen's ability just to speed things up a little bit. Plus the healer. And that's all she wrote. Next, I'll show you Jen's attack against a Town Hall 9. She did a Go Wipe. As you can see, it's a pretty spread out base, so she's going to use two golems, three P.E.K.K.A.s, and I think she has a max P.E.K.K.A. in her clan castle, so, you know, that's five tanks, and then you put the uh, wizards behind them, you know, as they're tanking, that'll protect them, you want to spread it out a little bit so they don't get bunched together, but even in the middle, there's not too many serious defenses, two expos, in a wizard tower. The rest is an air, so this is basically an anti-air, anti-dragon defense base. Here's the max golem. I'm going to drop a couple wizards. The reason why you drop a couple is, you know, just in case there's a bomb there. Plus, if there's area damage, there's a giant bomb took out one. But if all those wizards were grouped together, they would have been taken out, and that would have hurt this attack a lot. Here go the rest of the golems to tank. The rest of the wizards. Even though she's probably held off and done them in waves, but you know it's her choice. Holding off on the Pekkas for a little bit. There's the first set and the other two. 
As you can see, the wizards are in the middle, unprotected. They're getting eaten up by these defenses. And there went all the wizards. So there's only one wizard left. Oh, now there's no wizards left. That's why you want to do your wizards in waves. But there's so many golems and pekkas, they're going to just tank. Up correction, there's three, four wizards down south. But the pekkas are going to just run through this base. And the defenses are spread out so much, they, they don't do too much damage on any given tank. So it helps them survive. The are following this P.E.K.K.A. down south. And they'll just go around the map. Plus, by the time they come around this corner, the defense is already honed in on these golems. The Barb King's doing some work. Now they're down to golemites. There's one left. It's about to drop down. So as you can see, this P.E.K.K.A.'s full life. Haven't used the Archer Queen's ability, and there's about three or four wizards left and there's a lot of buildings to go through but they're gonna clutch it what saves them is these defenses are spread out plus these very few ones up front are, were still on the golemites so I gave the other troops time to work past these defenses defenses now four left use the queen's ability to heal her up a little bit You gotta hurry up, take out that Tesla because they do double damage against the P.E.K.K.A. Now it's down to two defenses. I'll count the air sweeper as one, especially for a ground attack. Thankfully, they honed in on the P.E.K.K.A. and that's what saves this attack. And the wizards just do the work, taking out the rest of the defenses. Good job, Jim. Those clo those uh, troops clutched it right there. Next we're going to check out my Goho We attack on Town Hall 8. As you can see the uh, air defenses are in the middle with buildings around the outside so I didn't want to do a dragon attack. The air sweeper though wouldn't have pay played a factor. It's facing up north for some odd reason. Normally you want it to cover your air defenses. But since everything's grouped together here inside, you know, there's no hidden uh, Defenses in there. I'm going to draw out the clan castle troops. It's a dragon and a loon, so that should be easy to take out. But you want to make sure you take them out because your hogs aren't going to be able to take out take out that dragon or the loon. They're just going to get hit. I drop this golem to tank. Drop wizards behind it to take out these clan troops fast. And I dropped the low level golem, the one that I made first, so it could tank. And I drop the big one up north, spread them out a little bit so the fences off the main, you know, attack. And the hogs will come in here in two groups in a second. And I'll just, just drop heal spells around the map. Still have one more heal left, and they'll run into it being healed. And that's pretty much all. As you can see, there's still plenty of wizards left. Walking behind the golem nicely. Three defenses left. The archer tower is honed in on the golem, so hogs are going in unobserved. And now it's just cleanup duty around the outside. Again, you want to use your hero's ability so they heal themselves in case your, your other troops are ready to go. You don't have to wait as long, especially for the higher level heroes. And now we get to, you know, my favorite, Euro 2, Wagger, Super, and their Dragon Attacks. Euro's going to take on another Town Hall 8. Let's check it out. As you can see, everything's spread out pretty good. Air Sweeper's covering the defenses. So you're going to want to create a hole so you can funnel your dragons in. And that's what the Barb King's used for, to take out some of these outside buildings. So the dragons don't follow these buildings around and get taken out by the defenses. 
And this dragon will take out these buildings. So that will leave these buildings here on the outside. have to follow in through the middle. And they're attacking, uh, Euro's attacking on this side of the air sweeper. So this air sweeper doesn't take out the air attack. Keep pushing them back. Takes a little bit to develop, so you know, a little bit of time crunch. So you have to be careful. And here come the rest of the drags. Now that there's a Use the first raid spell, takes them into the middle. They're going to hone in on this air defense, take it out really quick. And here comes the Clan Castle Troop. And it's not going to stand in a match because it's going to drop another raid spell, speeds things up a little bit. As you can see, those two air defenses are doing some work right now, so these dragons got to hurry up and get out there. And it works out nicely. This dragon is able to take out that air defense. And then the max drag and the other drags here in the middle hone in on the air defense. Once it's gone, that's all she wrote. And all that's left is a tower and a wizard tower to defend against five dragons, four dragons. They just go around the map cleaning things up nicely. Next, we're going to check out. Uh, Wagger Walker did a drag loon attack. Uh, Wagger Walkers is a Town Hall 7 and went up, took out this Town Hall 8, which was pretty nice. Let's check it out. As you can see, buildings on the outside, so you want to take them out, create that funnel, and Wagger's going to attack on this side of the air sweeper. So the air sweeper doesn't play a factor. Chops one dragon to tank and to take out the building to create the gap. Now that there's a gap created, you can start here in the middle dropping the dragons. And then once the dragons are taken, they'll drop the loons to go into the middle. Hasn't used the spells yet. You want let the developer because dragons are retarded you can't can't always predict which way they're gonna go if there's other buildings too close and here you can see drag the loons go in really quick they start taking out these air defenses so perfect right here though the loons are supposed to go up to that other air defense instead they go south and they still take out the buildings which is nice and there's plenty of dragons up here for this grants and it doesn't stand a chance clan castle dragon got taken out and the rage is still affecting those dragons, so it speeds things up. And all that's left is a two, three archer towers. But there's six dragons, and it's not going to stand a chance. Now all they have to do is beat the clock. Thankfully, the dragons are divided nicely to take out these defenses. This dragon went to the right to take out the camps. There's no buildings left down south. Next, we're going to check out Super Cow's attack against their mirror. Same concept. We're going to drop the Barb King and one dragon to create that that hole, so you can funnel the dragons down. Air Sweepers facing towards the southeast. So you're going to want to track, attack from the north side so it's not affected. Here comes the Clan Castle Dragon. It's not going to stand against all these dragons. This dragon will get taken out though by it. But here comes, you know, the meat of the attack. It's just going to just wreck these drag this Clan Castle Dragon. Rage spell covers a nice area. Dragon split up nicely. Take out this air defense. Now there's only one left. This one's about to drop. Great spell. In they go. Turns. And there's the last air defense. Now it's just cleanup duty. 
And as you can see, those this attack went kind of long. But thankfully, the dragons are divided. So they don't all have to go around the map together. And that would have killed them on time. And what's nice is the max dragon is still there. Doing a lot of here they do go clean up the rest of the map. That's all she wrote. You know, I've been taking notes, plus making the videos for these attacks. And on my baby account, I'm going to do a dragon attack myself. And now that I have Barb King, I can clear it out. Here you can see I dropped the raid spell to cover the air defense. Make sure it gets taken out so there's only one air defense left. And I'll save my raid spells till they're near that. Plus there's still going to be the clan castle troops. And here they come. That dragon's going to get taken out though. Thankfully there's still some group together. Here they come to help out. Now there's just one air defense left. This dragon's going to go down. And I was like, uh-oh. Thankfully I still have max dragon and plenty of dragons on the outside. What's nice is these buildings get taken out, so this dragon's going to turn up to attack. There goes the last raid spell to speed things up. Boom. Take out that air defense. Three dragons left, including the max one. And there's only one defense worth showing. That's Jen's defense. Number three dropped down to attack. Pretty decent Town Hall 9 attacking Jen. And it's going to be a low destruction percentage 2 star. Drops the golems to tank. I don't understand why people do this. Drop all their uh, wall breakers there. You know, if there's a the bomb there or an uh, area sp uh, splash defense, they all get taken out. And then your, your troops are stuck behind walls. Here you can see the clan castle troops play a vital part. Valkyries are taking hits while loons are dropping bombs. Takes out a big portion of, of their attack. Everything's grouped together though. And this go wee wee or go wee white attack, you know, because they had two or three witches with them. Did alright, but they get stuck behind the walls, hence, they used all their wall breakers. So, the rest of the defenses just sat back, taking out these troops. Arch Queen, so there's nothing left up there. And now it's just the tank stuck behind the walls. Now they take a good deal, deal of damage, but there's no shooters left except for a wizard and a witch. But it's not going to be enough to do anything relevant. And here comes the second star, which they barely get. And there goes the P.E.K.K.A. So all that's left is a witch and wizard. Golem's about to go to Golemites. And that's it. Appreciate you watching this Clan War recap. Hopefully we get out of this uh, this hole we're in. We won three in a row, so that's nice. I guess you have to check out our next war recap to see if we come out of the hole and win, win it. One more war and we'll be a level five clan, so that's pretty cool. Thank you for clicking. I hope this helped you out. Hope you enjoyed watching the videos. Thank you.